jubilance across a nation as 42 years under Muammar Gaddafi comes to an end. The authoritarian Libyan president meeting a grisly end in a tunnel, trying to escape his hometown of Sirte. In 2014, a new Libya holds parliamentary elections, but violence results in low turnout. Gunmen storm the parliament in Tripoli, and Libya is left without a central government. Enter General Khalifa Haftar, a former Gaddafi loyalist. He begins an offensive against what he says are Islamist militias. His armed group, the Libyan National Army, captures several key cities, including Benghazi in the northeast. In July, Tripoli's international airport becomes a battleground between Haftar and his coalition and the newly formed Libya Dawn Coalition, which is led by fighters from the northwestern city of Misrata. This conflict establishes two rival governments, the General National Congress in Tripoli and the House of Representatives in Tobruk. The Tobruk-based government was backed by Haftar. It was led by a prime minister, Abdullah al-Thini, and recognized by the UN, US, EU, Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, even though the Libyan Supreme Court ruled it to be illegal and unconstitutional in November 2014. The Tripoli-based government was an unelected reincarnation of the original GNC, whose term had expired in August 2014. Its leader was a president, Nouri Abu Samain, and it was dominated by the Muslim Brotherhood's Justice and Construction Party. December 2015, Libya's two rival factions sign a UN-backed deal to form a unity government, led by Fayez al-Sarraj. But a change of heart in some of the players throws the new government into disarray. The Islamic State group takes advantage of the chaos in Libya to advance into Sirte. The following year, the US begins an air campaign against IS at the request of Libya's UN-backed government in Tripoli.